and we're just going to mask off here which is just the pistons themselves and then just some other smaller components before we do any of that you're going to want to prep these so if you look at oh, there's not such a here we go you can see on here see if i can get that in the camera without too much light you can see there the the plating isn't all that great so you're going to want to remove some of this oxidization so you get it back to a sound base and then we can mask off and then coat so the first thing we'll do is decontaminate the component So that's the caliper done, just to get rid of any excess grease, salt, anything like that that could have got on there from transit, packaging, anything like that. Now we're just going to lightly abrade it all over, key it up, remove any loose just ready for spraying. So the best way to do it really is to start with the easier to access areas first. So you'd start off with this, then we'd move down to this if we needed it, then move down to this. Now the sanding block is probably more suitable for the bezels but this should allow us to get between these two pretty much all around the caliper. You can actually see it changing colour from the stainless to kind of brushing off to the degree. So it does give you a good indicator of what you have and haven't done, which is always a benefit. So it's hard to get into these little areas here. So you can see we haven't got into here yet. Push that on tightly so you get a good bit of adhesion. Razor blade. Just pull the blade across the edge all the way around. This will knacker your razor blade, but it does the job. See there, perfectly masked. When you're pulling the masking tape away, do it pull down away, not up, because if you pull up, you can lift it. If you pull up, you actually lift the masking tape away. And you can use the blade to hold it in place as well. So if you can't get it everywhere, you can actually rip it off and it'll still do. Reasonable job. This here, we can just spray over, it's not a problem. And then for this, you just want a small piece, really. Pinch and twist the top together so the paint doesn't go down inside. BHT primer, we're just going to put on one relatively light coat. Now you're not aiming to build this up into some sort of 
external grade thickness of coating. Because if you do that, the temperature tolerance reduces, so you don't need to la layer it on and build it all up and smooth it all out and all that sort of stuff. You literally just want to get sort of a scratch coat on there. Make sure you get all the little areas, so don't worry about going over, over a couple of times if you need to. But just put the minimum on, really. Always invert the cam. Clear the nozzle every single time. Now, that will dry off pretty quick. So as soon as that has, we'll then turn that over and do the other side. Once we've completed the other side, we can then move on to the red. Any colour you choose, but for this purpose we'll use the red. Once we've done the red, we'll clear lacquer and then remove the masking tape and we're done. On to the red. We'll do the back side first so that if we mark it when we turn it over, our finished side is, is better. You can see the opacity on this is really good um, for an aerosol. The opacity is when you put it on how much colour you get. Now some aerosols, if I spray from a distance here, some aerosols are kind of like that, where so you, you can put several coats on and you have to keep building them up. These are high solid aerosols, which means you get good colour opacity, which means you don't have to do multiple coats. around all the fitting to spray from all the different angles so that you get the entire area. So we'll have to come down lower and go underneath sometimes. Here the aerosol is normal. So now on the parts that are going to be shown on the outside we'll do a second coat. Then let that fully cure an hour or so prior to putting the clear lacquer on which will bump the colour up, give it more depth and give it a gloss finish. Whilst the caliper is curing off, I'm going to move that out of the way and then I'm going to start on both of the discs and we can show you what to do there. The other caliper is going to be rinse and repeat the same as what we've done here. So we're going to be flattening back this area here, which is on the area that we can paint. We're not going to be using the primer because the primer will only go to 350C and we're going to be using black so that we've got the full 800C tolerance. We're going to start off with using one of these as an abrasive but first off we're going to clean off any contamination. Now you always wipe off contamination first because if you abrade and prepare the entire area first then then you basically try and clean down afterwards. You do end up Basically through your preparation, pushing some of that contamination into the metal underneath, it's harder to get a good finish. So you're better off removing contamination first, preparing afterwards. So we're not going to do the, the surface, the mating face here, because if you put paint on there, potentially it can it can crush down later through compression, cause you lose glue nuts and things like that to come loose for the hub assembly. So we'll leave this area here. So we're only be doing this face and this face. Mask it up, mask up the face. We're going to use the same knife technique we used earlier. You can actually get a, a line tape which you can hold and you can run around, but um, unfortunately, this is all I've got for here. that's cure enough we're going to move back onto the caliper. So next up clear lacquer. <coughs> we're going to have to do several coats of this and build that up. So to 
remove the easiest way, cut a line, peel it off. of the paint and unless you allow it to fully cure it's going to damage it and if you allow it to fully cure it's going to bond the tape to the paint so you got to stop, make a decision on that one but we always do it this way you get an edge like that don't continue pulling just join that back on to what you're already doing and then you can take it all off as well one Two coats of clear lacquer in total. And the final coat just, just to smooth off the initial coating. Catch any errors you may have missed, pop into threads, etc. All different angles. It doesn't need to be particularly heavy. You want to allow that good few hours really to cure before you start bottling things on. Ideally overnight, but they will harden up within an hour or so, typically. So I've just removed all of the tape. It's not fully cured yet. 